Everyone is Alex from Rad Sign, and we're here at Wonderfest Summer in Japan. And we're here with Shenab, the CEO of Figurama Collectors, and we're going to look over their Tokyo Ghoul Part Two piece. So we're going to go through that with him, and I just want to say hello. First of all, I just want to start the interview by saying congratulations on the huge sellout of Attack on Titan, sold out in uh, three hours, was it? Five hours, actually. Five hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Alex, and. Um I am uh, very um, happy to have you here with us at Tokyo Wonder Festival for Garama Collectors booth. Uh, like just to um, uh, start on like what you have ended up, um, Attack on Titan was one of our most successful uh, sellouts. Um, you know, it's a piece that it's above 1K and it was sold within like five hours. It shows how much love uh, like that piece got and Figurama collectors, uh, we were blessed to, to have such a fans. So thank you so much for the support. Uh, regarding Toka versus uh, Tsukiyama, um, it's our uh, first uh, statue that, or uh, um, let's say um, our first license that we do a sequel to it. So like this is the second part, Toka versus uh, Tsukiyama. We like wanted to follow up Kaneki with his, you know, like let's say a uh, companion piece, which is uh, Toka. Um, like let's say, um, as you can see, uh, Toka's uh, Kagoni, it's huge, it's almost a quarter scale a statue size, the Kagoni by itself. Uh, the, the, you know, it like got the same uh, feel uh, or, you know, like the uh, artistic like the identity yeah. and the flow of, of the first part, which is Kaneki versus uh, Biamori. And um, actually, it's like gonna come again with uh, busts with each uh, uh, swappable head. Uh, it's like just that we don't have it ready now for the convention and you know like one of the things that it's like gonna change for the uh, later on uh, production uh, piece that we will like definitely won't have uh, support for the Kagone but you know it's a prototype we, we like uh, don't have the uh, uh, the proper metal rods inside because it's like a 3D print but all of these are gonna be changing in the final piece. Uh, and one more important point that is going to be different in the production piece, we will have an LED light uh, behind the stained glass. Yes, so it will give you a cathedral feel like, you know, uh, in these uh, holy moments in any church or cathedral, when the light like shed from the uh, 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 stained glass or window, it will be like same effect here, which is going to be in the production piece. We will like show it to our collectors definitely. Uh, regarding the price and the, uh, the the PO date, it's not um, announced yet. Uh, we 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 haven't uh, yet decided, but we will um, announce that uh, very soon actually. So this is uh, Toki Ghoul 2, um, and um, yeah, I, I hope the fans will love it. Well, you just made my job very easy there because I didn't have to ask any questions. Uh, all I want to do, all I want to say is um, basically, yeah, because this is um, this hasn't been engineered properly, so it's just come from the factory. So um, they we need they need to make some adjustments. I want to add in that I made this part. Yeah. That's my contribution. <laughs> so that's just to hold up the uh, kanji. So uh, yeah, that obviously will not be there. That's just uh, support during the show. And um, yeah, I do. I did actually notice that from the last convention in the winter that you had a teaser for this already and no one really picked up on it where you had the um, the rose and the letter there yes. and no one really like um, I, you know, picked up the fact Link that that was going yeah. to be the next yes, piece yes. so yeah that was very clever and very subtle sure um, actually because that's uh, one of the most iconic pieces in this uh, fight is the letter you know like it, it's how all of this fight uh, started like when Tsukiyama sent the letter to Toka you know like he, he wanted to bring her to this cathedral um, and as you can see always we make sure that uh, we have you know the ultimate details in any of our statues I'm sure that you, that you will show the fans and your followers the details every single details in this fight the Easter eggs it's like full of Easter eggs like always um, uh, Keita Okada the Japanese artist who who is behind the Hunter Hunter uh, piece and uh, the first Toki Ghoul he's he's behind this masterpiece as well uh, with uh, concept uh, artist uh, Daniel Simon um, I think this is a masterpiece it will be a must to have especially if you have the first Toki Ghoul because if you like join both of them in like one room they are gonna give you a complete scene and we will not end on this one yeah. any um, any hints to where you're gonna go next we will go next where the fans <laughs> wanted us to go yeah. 
I was saying to you earlier on, I'm very frustrated because what happened was, is I literally left to get to the airport. And when I left to get to the airport, I got my tracking update to say that my uh, Tokyo Ghoul Part 1 has been delivered to my house. So I've literally got to wait now until I get back home to unbox up. I'm super excited about doing that. Um, and also about, like, I would, I'd love to see these two together. What kind of... Um, or difficulties did you face with this piece during uh, production sure. or I mean even now when you're seeing it and yeah. learning from that actually um, basically the the Tokas Kagone is one of our most uh, challenging parts um, we we like couldn't take the license because of the Kagone in the beginning you know like the the licenses especially the author uh, he is so uh, you know protective about uh, Tokas especially that's why you like don't see like much pieces for her in the market. They are so concerned about the Akagone. They want the Akagone to be as real as possible and to 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 you know like to like link to, to the original concept. Yes, to to be like reflected all of the uh, uh, graphical uh, you know like values, and that was the challenge which actually we have tackled. We like got only like one request to change, and that was it. They they love it, and uh, from their perspective, this is the best Akagone ever made for uh, Toka. And we are very proud of like what we have achieved. We think uh, that the team were an, uh, an amazing, uh, uh, um, an amazingly focused and dedicated to like uh, achieve like this going to be in like that kind of details. One little change gonna be in the production that the ending uh, tips like while it's uh, crystallizing, it's like gonna be as uh, transparent as the bottom bit. So like they're going to like link together. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, it was the most uh, challenge, but. I, I am proud to saying that we have achieved that perfectly. Yeah, because I, am, I was helping with the assembly on this piece and putting it together. When you see this piece here, you're like, yeah, that's going to be really heavy. And it's been engineered so well that it's very light. Yeah. And um, so when people get it in hand, they don't have to worry about leaning. Uh, they don't have to worry about um, things like that. Again, this piece is only here because uh, this was printed uh, very recently. It hasn't been engineered properly. So the actual peg uh, within her foot is actually plastic. So it has to be glued and, and yeah. supported. But Absolutely. when you get it in hand, it won't be like that. So Absolutely. yeah, prototype only. Yeah. So I just wanted to see Yeah. And um, thank you so much, Alex, for um, helping and supporting in assembling this piece. This in invention is like going to be written in your name. We'll like make sure to, to, to like give you the copyright for that. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much for uh, you know like uh, 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 having you here in uh, in our booth. And uh, we will like see the other pieces uh, later on together. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Take care. Thank you, everybody. Uh, if you like what you see, click on the uh, subscribe button and also click on that bell to become part of our notification squad. Thank you, people. Bye-bye.